I got this feeling that it can't control It's heredity that's discovered recently It all started with Irsol 2,000 years ago He thought that father supply life was one of mother supply building blocks But he was wrong about genetics as Gregor Mendel experimented with pea plants That made him find out the trace that got past him was not there are chromosomes in your body that hold all the genetic traits. You have 23 pairs of chromosomes, so don't stop. In a chromosome, there are genes that control physical appearances. You got polygenic, where many control one. Then you got polytropic, where one controls many. It's just too much now, just too much now, just too much now. The traits that Mendel observed are called Mendelian traits, and it includes pea plant color and wet or dry ear wax color. This trait is located in the same chromosome number, such as the earwax genes located on number 16. I can't stop around it! Alleles keep coming randomly. I can't stop around it! Alleles are versions of a gene. Come on. Ooh, dominant and recessive. These are the alleles that make a single gene. There have to be two alleles in the genotype, which is the genetic version of the physical phenotype. If any one of the alleles are dominant, that means the dominant is physically shown, but if both alleles are recessive, then that's shown. Such as ear wax is dominant, is wet, and its recessive is dry. Wet ear wax glycine makes up the protein ball, and dry it's arginine. Semantic cells are deployed, meaning that there are two sets of chromosomes. Semantics are non sexual zones, but the gametes are sexual, such as sperm and egg. It's just too much now, just too much now, just too much now. The gametes are called haploid cells, having only one set of chromosomes. While in the diploid cell, the two sets come from each of your parents. Come on. But in haploid cells, they combine with another two, make another diploid. But in some plants, they're polypoid, meaning that they have more than two sets. I can't stop running it! The alleles keep coming randomly. I can't stop running it! The dominant mass, the recessive. I can't stop running it! Two same alleles are homozygous, can't stop running it! Well, they're different, ones are heterozygous. The dominant represent capital letters, while the recessive represent lowercase. Mm. Such as if you had to have big S and a little S, it would be heterozygous. I can't stop her at, there's the easiest way to find out what genes get passed on. I can't stop her at, Rich and Nolte Pony made the punny score that can find out what genes get passed on. I can't stop her I can't stop her I can't stop her at, it is! The parents and Leah's go to the top, comes their left rows of the I can't stop her at, it is! The four to four squares, you can find what's on the same row and call what? Any square you'll find out if the gene is dominant or recessive. Yeah, such as one SS versus come on, you get 50 heavens, I go for can't stop around it is earwax gene also produces body odor. Can't stop around it is that's an example of a pyotropic gene. I can't stop around it is first 22 pairs are on its own with charge sex link. Can't stop around it is well the 23rd pair is sex link. Put it down. Women have full-length chromosomes. I can't stop heredity. One man and one full-length and one shorty. Uh-huh. The full chromosome is the only trait that has dominant and recessive traits that can get passed on. Well, the shorty one has nothing.